Happy Wednesday. In this short video, I'm going to detail what you need to do for our asynchronous week 19 day. So if you're a work in person student, that means that hopefully you're back in the school. If you're not, that means you're going to be working on this at your own pace. Our learning targets for this assignment are, I can analyze a text to identify important information. So that's kind of a basic reading for comprehension target. I can make inferences about what a text means. That one's a little bit trickier because when you inference, you're trying to figure out what does the text mean, even though it may not say that. So for example, if I ask you, how's your day going? And you go, eh, then I can infer that you mean, eh, it's so-so, or maybe it's really not even so good. Because I know that if it was a good day, you would have said good, or if you're having a great day, you might have shared it with me. So I'm inferring your meaning even though you said very little or you didn't say exactly what's up. So inferring means to read behind the lines or between the lines. The final learning target is I can summarize key details from a text to show my understanding. And that is our writing target here. I want you to be able to explain what you understood about a text because every single time you read, it should make sense. You should understand the story behind what you just read or the intent of the author, the information they wanted to share. If you don't understand it or you don't get the story, you need to reread it. We should always be reading with the idea that this thing should make sense. If it's not, or if it doesn't, you need to come talk to me or talk to a parent or somebody at home who can perhaps help explain to you what's up. So our, we went through our learning targets. Now we're gonna look at the directions. So this is week 19, Wednesday work, reading for details two, because this is the second time we've practiced these types of skills. So our directions say to read the article, warning junk food can harm a teen's brain. It looks like this. Hopefully you've already read it. If not, take a little while and do that first. Note that I have numbered the paragraphs for you on the sides, and I also defined some key vocabulary words right inside the text for you. When you're done reading it, you're going to come back here and complete the questions below using complete detailed sentences. Check the second page to make sure that you finish them all. Oh, you know, I'm going to change this right now live to answer the questions below using complete detailed sentences. Okay, so question one says make an inference. So that means figure out what it, set, what it means even though it may not say it. So you're going to look at paragraph five. Based on that, our teen's brain's fully developed. So, okay, let's model this for you. Let's come back here. I opened up my article again. Now I'm going to look for paragraph one, two, three, four, five. And note that five does come over onto the next page. So you'd be rereading that to tell me, do, brain, do teen's brains, our teen's brain's fully developed? So you'd answer a complete sentence inside this box. Number two says, based on paragraphs six and seven, why do teens' brains feel more reward than adults? And again, I would look at paragraphs six through seven for this question. For question three, it says reread paragraph 10 closely. What effect did high fat foods have on the mice? Use a text detail to support your answer. So you would go look at paragraph 10. You might have to read it a couple times. It's trickier, which is why I chose it. I want you to have to read closely and really look at details. And then finally, number four, based on the conclusion of the article, do you think you should have you should be more careful about what foods you eat? This is kind of a you question, but you want to look at the conclusion. So think about where would I find the conclusion of an article? Hint where it concludes, right? Read that and then compare it to your own opinion. So this one's more of an opinion. So Every time you answer one of these, you're summarizing what you understood about it. I think my webcam just froze, but that's okay. And make sure that you answer all four questions. If you did not, though, you're not done with this assignment, so go back and finish them all before you submit it to me. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing the work that you put out. I'm looking forward to reading your writing. If you have any questions about this, feel free to send me a message on Canvas or in email so that I can help you out. I will see you again tomorrow. Adios.